Yeah, he has to prove it on Saturday. Uh, he's done it before. He, I mean, he and Flo played together. Like I said, you get something else. What you do lose is uh, ball carrying capacity, but mostly line out. Um, with Flo and Marcel, um, with all due respect to them, they're not renowned for line out jumpers, although they can jump. So it's unwarranted at the moment. So we'll change them around. The Warren is brilliant in the line out. But I always believe you need a big blindside flanker, and uh, that's great in the line outs as well. So it's up to him now to show that he can. Um, you know, work rate wise, he brings something different. Um, where Willem breaks up, open the defensive lines and is a huge uh, momentum stopper on the defense. Uh, I truly believe with the three of them, the work rate will definitely go up and skulk as well. So, what you lose, you gain on other areas. But it's up to the players now to show uh, on Saturday what they can do and in the next two or three games as well. Opa can also play there, so it's also a guy that we're coming back from fitness and injury. So uh, at least I still think we're fine, but we've already been looking at other big ball carriers as well because to lose Dwayne and Willem, uh, you need one big ball carrier in your pack. We keep on looking at guys and know what we want. We looked at a guy like Jacques Potgieter. Uh, he's a great ball carrier, has done well. Uh, Piers Spies can, can fulfill that role. I always believe Piers always played well for the box, and especially with, the, with all the guys injured now, we look at him. Um, I've always believed uh, Arnu has been unbelievable. Uh, unfortunately, he's been injured for two years. He can fulfill that role. So uh, that's three guys we're looking at, and uh, we also look at other guys. So we do have an injury, we're in contact with, with the players, and uh, we'll definitely get someone in if, uh, if they can't fulfill that role. At this stage, I'm, I'm happy that I think the guys in the squad can fulfill that role. Yeah, it's quite emotional. You get quite close with the players, uh, way hard of them. They're still like a, almost like a father figure for them. So it's, uh, it's really emotional, and usually I didn't, you know, even up to now, I don't watch the, the games where he got injured. Um, and wherever I go, they play that clip um, on every single advert or whatsoever. So it's tough going through it, I think, emotionally for him as well. So uh, there's always emotion of the players. Even like a guy like, like Stephen Kitchoff got injured, I really believed, you know, you definitely would have been in the mix against Australia. That was the plan. So whenever a guy gets injured, it's, uh, you know, I'm really almost like depressed for a day or two because I always feel I could have stopped it some way or another. And you need fit players. But with John specifically, you know, I really thought that's... You know, it's, I won't say the end, but a big, big step back for our World Cup campaign. And, uh, you know, I really, really, sometimes, I'm, like I said, I'm quite positive, but I always worry that uh, will there be enough time. And I thought maybe when we're lucky, probably the last game against Argentina. So Sonny now is here. He's really looked well in training, I must say. For me, it's what he does on the field, and he's really been impressive in training. But it's been a, you know, emotional roller coaster. And, you know, what I really have got respect for Jean, the team always comes first. And, uh, you know, with the captaincy as well, he said Victor must, must take the captaincy. And even when he comes on, um, it's all about the team. Ron will still be the captain or the vice captain. So John won't take over the captaincy. He's going to focus on his game and get back into form. And he's such a proud player. You know, he wants to make it on merit. He doesn't want to make it just because he's the, he's the captain. And that puts more pressure on him. But it's been really, really emotional. And, I, you know, probably be a tear in the eye when he, when he goes onto the field and not just me. All the, the coaching staff and all the guys that's worked really hard with him, and uh, maybe a lot of the spectators as well. So there's going to be an emotional moment when he goes onto the field, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm just very, very proud of the way he's, he's conducted himself, and you know, how he's going to come back and, and play. And I believe he's, he can definitely get back to his pace. What I've seen in training is uh, when he was the player of the year, he was really, really sharp, and uh, he showed glimpses of that as well. He's been really great in training, broke the line a few times, really excited to go. So. I just hope and pray that he will come through this game and then hopefully the next two games as well. And if he comes through the first three, with getting back against Argentina, he'll be 100% right for the World Cup. I just hope that he will get through these games. But it's been emotional. Really looking forward to seeing him going. Pat still, I believe, is a great fullback. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I've been working a lot of in, with individual skills, especially high boy catching and aerial skills. And <clears throat> Pat is probably one of the best in the world. So, I, you know, he just really adds value as a fullback as well. Uh, it can happen that him and Pollard plays in the same same test as well because I still believe he can definitely play at the highest level in any test match nation at fullback. But having Jesse there as well just gives you another another option. Um, there is a chance that I want to give Jesse probably 10 to 15 minutes at the end on fullback as well. Although I, I believe that uh, you know probably should stick with him at centre for the next test or two. Um, but I believe with Jesse there is that he can help us at uh, at wing as well. And uh, it's almost like when Franz Stein was, at his, you know, as a youngster, he can cover 12, 13, 14, and and fullback, and that just makes such a big difference to your bench and to your team. You know, he's <coughs> been covered at all positions, and uh, so although Pat can play there as well, I don't want to move Pat around too much. I want him to settle at 10. So we just have another option there with with Jesse, which is a great option for us. And 
I really got a good feeling about Jesse. Uh, I really think he can go on to be one of the best outside centers that South Africa's produced. Um, like I said, I've been working with him, but what I've seen in training, and I know it's just training, he's got an acceleration that I haven't seen with a lot of players, especially the outside gap. And I've always liked my outside center to be able to take an outside gap, which not a lot of guys can do. So speed-wise, he's there, but he's got an unbelievable acceleration. The tough thing for him with Damien and, and Polly is they haven't played together. They're facing unbelievable experience backs, and uh, they have to prove on the defense. The Attacking-wise, I know they're going to be brilliant. Defensive, they have to put up their hands, and it's a tough call for them because they've been together for a week. And uh, but this is the right game to give it, to give them a go, and uh, maybe uh, I'll consider them against Australia as well. I truly believe that um, you know, for me, there's no friendlies. If you wear the box colours, the little kid sitting on the stadium, he doesn't know if it's an official or not, if not official test match. So for me, when you when you present your country, it's a test match, and I don't pick guys who don't think they're good enough. I think a lot of these guys will go on to be superstars and uh, it's a great, great uh, you know, day for them to prove themselves. So uh, whenever they put on the jersey, they have to be good enough, otherwise I won't pick them. So there's no question in my mind that uh, all these players are going to play on Saturday is good enough to play in the World Cup final. A lot of them just need experience, but you only gain experience by playing. So uh, you have to give them the experience. There's only five test matches left, so that's, that's the big question mark for me. So that's why straight up I want to give them uh, the experience. I know what we've got in other centres and, and more experienced, older players. But I want to see what these youngsters can do under pressure.